Hey friends, how are y'all going today? I'm going to be taking you through a nice stretch flow. Um, I'm pretty tight and sore at the moment, so this is going to feel really good for me. Especially my legs and shoulders are being feeling really stiff, so if you're feeling a bit tight in those areas as well, this might be a good one for you to try also. Um, I wouldn't say it's a super beginner low level flow. It's probably more of that um, intermediate kind of level. So if you are feeling like maybe you're really in a lot of pain, this might not be appropriate for you, but I do have some other videos that um, are on my channel that might be a little bit better. Of course, like anything, if you need to take rests or you need to modify things, you're definitely welcome to do that. Otherwise, you can join in with me and we'll just get straight into it. So let's get into our little stretching flow for today. These are just some things that I like to do when I'm feeling a bit stiff and sore. I'm going to start on my hands and then I'm going to have my feet back nice and long, pretty much like a plank position. And I'm going to go from this plank into a downwards dog. So lifting my hips up, dropping the head through, looking at the knees, and then coming back forward into that plank position again. So you lift your hips up. Tailbone is just pointing up to the ceiling, lengthening through the back of the legs, and then coming back into your plank again. And just smoothly moving through these positions. If you're feeling like maybe you're a little bit tender and this isn't really working for you, um, you can actually do it down on your knees as well. So I'll show you that one. So you'd be more like a kind of child's pose and then into like a kneeling plank. So that's a really good alternative if you want it. Okay, but I'm going to do it up on my toes. Some people might also have to bend their knees rather than keep the legs really straight. On this next one, we're gonna keep our hips up nice and high, and then lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, just as high as you can achieve. We're gonna bend that left leg all the way forwards as much as we can and step it up so we're in like this lunge position, okay? Then you might want to wriggle your toes forward a little more like I'm doing. Hands can be on the ground still. And then see if you can turn your left arm up to the sky. So I've got my left foot forward, left arm up. Bring that left hand back down again to the floor. I'm going to just do that on the other side. So step the left foot back again. Park the hips nice and high. Right leg comes up. Nice stretch down the back of the leg. And my hips are cracking like they always do. Tuck the right leg forward into like that lunge as high as you can. And then try and take your right hand up to the ceiling. Beautiful guys. We're going to do both of those again. So each side again, both hands back down. Step the right foot back. Nice little pike, and then left leg up, second round, left leg high, and then bring that left knee all the way forwards into that lunge, and bring your left arm up, getting your nice twist here. I'm not a yoga instructor, so I don't know what this is called in yoga. This is just uh, the Steph version of it. Then you're going to bring your hand down, left leg back up, and into your pike. And then right arm, let's even out over to the other side, right leg up. We're going to come off the hands soon, okay? Tuck that right knee forward into your low, your lunge. Maybe it's a high lunge, maybe that's what they call it. And then bring your right arm up to the sky, getting a stretch, twisting your spine. Beautiful. Whew. And coming back into the centre. Stepping those feet both back and then bring your knees down. Awesome. Now we're going to do some cat cows. Rounding your spine like you're an angry cat. And then arching the opposite way for your sexy cat. That's what I like to call it anyway. Rounding up, angry cat. And other way for your sexy cat. <sighs> nice deep breaths, of course. Just moving through your spine. Should feel kind of good. Maybe you want to wiggle in certain spots. Feel that nice stretch through your body. Good. We're just going to do a couple more here for our cat cow. Beautiful work. And three, two, 
and one. Good. You're going to sit on your bottom next. Okay. So on your bum, I'm going to face you guys so you can see me. Bring your hands just behind you and your legs bent up in front. And all we're going to do is rock our knees across to one side, like a little windscreen wiper. Then rock your knees across to the other side. Okay. Only go as far as you can achieve. Not everyone can go all the way down. So just do the best that you can. So the goal is that we're getting internal rotation on one leg, external on the other, and then same when we go the other way. Internal on one leg, external rotation on the other. And with my hands behind me, I'm trying to lift my chest up as well to open through the chest rather than collapsing. Good. Now, if you're feeling like you're actually all right with this movement, you might want to try level two. So maybe you want to join me. Level two is hands away and in front. That might be a little bit tricky. So if that's not for you, pop your hands back down. It's a little bit sticky. So it's more like an active mobility. I think you'll find. 10 more seconds. Don't mind me making my funny faces while I slowly struggle and my mat folds up underneath me. <laughs> We're going to do a couple more. Then we're going to hold our legs across to one side. You've got four, three, two, and hold your knees across to your left side. So both knees are pointing to the left. And then all I'm going to do is try and turn my body the opposite way. And it's a bit sticky. Uh, my hips are they're a little bit stuck and a little bit tight. My spine as well is feeling really tight. Good. And just look over that shoulder if you can. <sighs> nice deep breaths. And then let's turn over to our left where our knees are pointing. See if you can crawl your hands out away. And maybe you can lie down, maybe you can't, but just do the best you can. Again, it's a really nice spine stretch. It's a good way to just kind of find those different positions. We're gonna go over to the other side. So you'll need to crawl your hands back in and then bring your hands behind you. Drop those legs to the right side this time. So their knees are pointing the opposite way. We're sitting up a bit taller. Walk your hands to the left. So you're turning behind you, pretty much to where your feet are pointing. Oh, I'm hoping my back will crack. I really want it to. It feels good when it cracks. For some people, maybe not. For me, it feels great. You don't have to force it. You can just kind of hold it wherever you feel able to hold it. Good. And then you're going to turn to your right towards your knees and crawl your hands out and think about folding forward. You can just hold it there, nice deep breaths, nice and chilled. Think about what you're going to have for breakfast, lunch or dinner, whatever, whatever you're going to eat. I think I want to have a crumpet. We've got three, two, and one coming back up we're going to do just one more so if you can now sit your legs pretty much nice and wide like you're in like i don't know a pancake split side split whatever they call it um see how far forward you can get your hips you might not be able to do it as far as me and we're going to start leaning side to side so i'm going to lean over to my right first bring my hand down reach overhead and then i'm going to go the opposite way bring my left hand down and reach overhead. So just work in those ranges that you're feeling able to achieve. You can sort of play around with it a bit where you reach to your hand, or your hand, your foot, and then reach to the other foot. I hope you guys understand um, my instructions. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even understand myself. So let's just see how we go. Oh, it feels so nice. I love this right through the side of the body. Also like hamstrings, inner thighs, so your adductors there. We are going to hold it over on one side very shortly. Just in three, two, and one. I'm going to hold it on my right side first. So this is my right. Turn to the right, your chest faces your leg, and then leaning forward. I really need like a marker to mark left and right on my feet and my hands. <laughs> so lame. 30 years old and still doesn't know right and left. We'll hold it there. Every time you breathe out, see if you can sink forward that little bit extra. 
and then we're going to crawl over to the opposite side, walk it across, other side. So leaning forward, see if you can keep your spine long, belly towards your thigh and breathe out, lean forward. Just hold it wherever you are able to, whatever you're going to do. Almost there. We're going to do one more um, down the center. See if you can lean forward down the middle. Okay. So let's come back to the middle now and see if you can crawl your hands forward. Reaching forward as far as you can. Maybe you can touch the floor with your head or your chest or maybe uh, just your hands. <laughs> Whatever you can do. Wriggle around if that feels good. I like to wriggle around. We've got another 10 seconds. As you can probably see, I like to wriggle around a lot. Good. And you've got three, two, and one. Gently kind of bend your legs to come in again. I like bend mine like this and wriggle them around. And guys, you made it. You're all done. Um, I hope you liked that quick little stretching session. You might feel a little bit looser after that one. I know that I do. If you do like it, please comment below. Um, give me a little like if you don't mind. Maybe you want to subscribe as well. That would be lovely. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.